Hello guys, I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, I will show you how to import and export complete database from SQL Server using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18. So stay tuned and watch till the end. So let's open the studio. So the studio is ready now. Before going to connect, you need to set up database. In other videos, I will show you how to set up SQL Server database. So for now, I am connecting to my database that's already set up. It's connected. Now I will select the option database. From the available database, we need to select any of database that we want to take export or we want to import data to it so first i will select one database i will first export that database and again i will show you how to import that so i am selecting this database right click on that go to task option choose generate scripts now click on next here you can select one one tables which you want to take data database export otherwise you can select this option to take entire database export so i'm taking entire database export clicking on next here we have few options to view now i have selected first option that save to file the export will be saved to file so for that i need to done we get all success results including saved to file as success now click on finish let's go to the folder and see the export here is the export that i have taken it's my sql export.sql file you can open and view it so here is uh, all the data with all properties we can see here all tables are created with its data as well as while creating table it also includes all the constraints for example here i have created primary keys primary keys are also exported so the this this was the export thing now we will again import this to our database so for that we need to change the database name because the database name with global warming 3 is already exist so it will conflict so we need we just need to replace it we'll replace it with some other 
for example i'll write global working three three so i'm going to replace it all are replaced and save i've saved the file now i will import this database now again i will go to studio to get import the data i will show you two ways to import first way is to click here on new query so i am selecting this file to open it's all are here now what to do is just click on execute it will execute all the things one by one the query is executing after the execution it will give us a report so the query is executed it's 100 percent complete and a message is here query executed successfully with all the reports here so this was one way to import data into our database so i'll refresh it and it will be here so the global warming 33 is here with all the tables and their data so this was one way to import data from data for sql server i will show another way how to do it so other way is to import data with existing database uh, for example i have database global warming 33 i have data in this table let me show you first we need to select the database we want to use click on execute this is selected now what we'll do select star from all dhg emissions now execute it so here we have already few data and also we want to import data from excel file so how to do is now for clarity i am deleting this data delete from all the data are deleted now let's see it's deleted see now we have we don't have any data so now we'll import data from the excel file so now select the database to which you want to import the data my table this all gsg emissions exists under the database global warming 33 and clicking on this right click go to task select the import data option so here we need to specify the data source from where we are going to copy the data i am using microsoft excel as my data is in excel file now specifying the file this is the file i want to import click on next now we have to give the destination to where we need to copy the data i am selecting sql server native client by default my server is my pc i have set up my server in this pc click on next again click on next now here we want to do the source and the destination mapping the source is sheet one of this file but the destination we have to give destination we, we are our destination is this table if other table was your destination you can select any of them but my destination table is this one all gsg emissions i'm selecting this now we can check the mapping if the excel columns is mapped properly mapped with the table of columns of uh, database table so here are these columns country year total gsg emission total gsg emission including lucf these things are properly mapped with database table or not for that we will see the mappings 
see here it's not properly mapped so except these two columns country and year because these are exactly what uh, in excel file their column name is so they are automatically mapped but for others we need to do mapping so this uh, for the excel column total gsg emission excluding lucf we have the column as this again as like this we have to map everything total ca2 carbon dioxide now total ch4 here is the column one by one we need to map once the mapping is done now click on next you can click on next before that verify that these are okay now click on next so here is final confirmation again click on next again click on next now click on finish it will import data to our tab destination table so here we can see a message 968 rows are transferred transferred click on close now as earlier we have we had removed all the data now there should be 968 rows so here is the data we have imported now so as in this way we can export and ex import data use for my sql server using microsoft sql server management studio 18 so this was for the video in other videos i'll show you setups and other tricks for sql server database using microsoft sql server management studio 18 so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you